Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. Winter is coming, and those who are familiar with winter and familiar with its effects know that you know you can be very prone to dry skin, such as on the feet, on the hands, on the face. Not so much dry skin issues in the season of the summer because you have uh, humidity in the air and that keeps your skin naturally moisturized, or at least it leaves water on it so that it doesn't, you know, get real dry. So I said to myself, you know, winter is coming. And what do I do? So I talked to my doctor about it because I'm prone to dry skin uh, year round. Uh, so she said, you know, you can buy the moisturizers over the counter. She said they're mostly water. Water evaporates. You'll be putting the moisturizer on all the time. My personal opinion on what she said was this. Buy the lotion. It keeps the company that manufactures it in business because they know a true moisturizer doesn't have, need to have a lot of water or alcohol because it will just evaporate. So therefore, if they put a lot of water or alcohol into the moisturizer, they'll make tons of money end of my opinion. <laughs> so let's take a look at uh, our first ingredient. I went on and I found a recipe for a shea butter moisturizer. It's a whipped shea butter moisturizer. First of all, you buy your shea butter. I got mine at Amazon. It comes very clumpy. You can see the oils from the, from the shea butter on the bag. You, know, you can clearly see that. And that's what's going to be applied to your skin. You take four ounces. You, know, you have to break it because it's, like it's like a rock. And you break it into a four ounce piece. Place it in a bowl. Get out a fork. Mash it like you would a potato uh, to spread it out. Now, the second ingredient that you're going to need, and the only other ingredient, is olive oil. And you're putting olive oil because it kind of helps it become a little bit more liquidy and make it a, a much easier to smooth it on your skin, your hands, your feet, whatever the case may be. Uh, I used, the first time I made it, I used two teaspoons of uh, olive oil with the four ounces of the shea butter. This time I make it, I'm going to try three uh, teaspoons of uh, olive oil because I need it to be a, a little more... Give it a little more slide to it when I'm applying it to my skin, my hands, or my feet. Uh, after that, you put your, um, you know, your mixer, your little hand mixer, you put it in the bowl and you mix it, you know, start off slow or else you're going to have this stuff all over the place. Start off slow and, and just whip it. You're going to have little, you know, uh, lumps in there as you, uh, one should expect. But, you know, you just go through and you whip it until you've got like a, almost like a whipped cream consistency. Then you want to put it in a dark uh, colored jar because, you know, you don't want direct sunlight on your moisturizer because then it takes away or breaks down the beneficial natural uh, ingredients in the shea butter. I don't cook my shea butter because when you cook shea butter, you change its chemical properties. And I like the chemi chemical properties, which are the moisturizing properties. If I happen to use it over a double boiler or whatever the case may be, I'm literally altering the, chem the chemistry of the shea butter with heat. Not what I really want to do. So take it natural, uh, break it with a fork like a potato, add two tables, two teaspoons of olive oil, uh, you know, adjust as you make your next batch, and uh, that's it. Then you seal it, and when you have it, what you'll need to do if you use the two teaspoons first to try it, you really need to get some friction going in your hands to, to really get it liquidy so that it applies. And believe me, when they say a dabble do ya, this is literally a dab will do you. Uh, you know, you need maybe, you know, uh, half of the size of your fingernail's worth of shea butter. And then, you know, rub that, get your hands warm, and it, it gets more liquidy. And then, you know, I pat to apply like that, you know, because if you just literally rub it, you'll be sitting there dabbing your face because the moisturizer is so heavy. I have not had uh, any acne or any adverse effects from applying the moisturizer because it's natural. It also has healing properties for the skin as well. So you can go buy one for $5, $15, $30, $175, $200, $300, or you can just go and make your own damn moisturizer, have nice soft skin, don't have to worry about it. It has all the natural benefits. It hasn't been boiled out, cooked out, processed, pre-processed, post-processed, put in a bottle. Ugh! The whole nine yards. Just make your damn own. What is it going to cost you? Six dollars? And believe me, if you've watched my older videos and these videos, I don't have dry skin. You can clearly tell if you look at the old videos uh, to the new ones. And that's what you need to know. So, be thrifty, 